What's up, homies? Let's talk about cartoons. I've always watched cartoons ever since I was a little kid. When I was really small, I liked um, Snoopy. And I watched Fraggle Rock, but Fraggle Rock wasn't a cartoon, was it? Yeah. If Fraggle Rock was more like puppetry kind of a thing. They had that sort of stuff going on in the 80s. And I watched, you know, like Mr. Rogers and stuff, but I, I just wanted to watch the trolley. <laughs> but cartoons wise, um, I watched all the Warner Brothers stuff when I was a little kid. And the Roadrunner and I watched a lot of different um, stuff like Scooby-Doo. I didn't really like all the storyline of Scooby-Doo, but I like Scooby. And I think cartoons are so great. The Simpsons, yeah. When I was a little kid, gosh, The Simpsons was such a great show. We would get so excited to see that come on. <laughs> I talked to my fiance. She said that she wasn't allowed to watch The Simpsons. <laughs> I was like, really? The Simpsons? The Simpsons is actually like one of those shows that teaches you a lot, a lot about humanity. It um, shows a lot of the like humility in different situations of life, and it was actually very well written. And it mostly just focuses around Homer's life, the dad of the family, and how he does everything half-ass and doesn't care and everything turns out great anyways and it's kind of like a show that helps Americans feel better about themselves <laughs> the Homer character is the best you know you have to admit well Bart is a really good character they're all really good characters it's a strong show and it, I don't know I, I can't connect with the characters anymore because they change over time slightly <laughs> but the original few episodes in the beginning will just blow you away like wow it's like brutal honesty and different stuff like that um, I like American Dad that's a great show because the premise of American Dad is that this guy is in the CIA and he has this alien that saved his life like an actual alien from outer space so he kind of has to take care of this alien and hide him in his attic. And the alien is a real slack off, you know. He just has a bar up there and he drinks and he poo-poos everything. He's a total prick. He's an asshole. And for some reason, he just doesn't know any of that. <laughs> so the character Roger is just like such a great character. Beavis and Butthead is a real strong show, too. Like, I, I know a lot of people don't like that, but... Let's be honest. We, we were really breaking through when we made um, Beavis and Butthead. And Mike Judge had a concept, which... Its demographic is small, so... There's not very many people like Beavis and Butthead, but if you met people like them, yeah, it's just funny. It's not going to make sense to everybody. But um, King of the Hill, another one of those ones. But King of the Hill, you have to kind of watch for... Somebody had it on TV always, and then... I didn't really like it in the beginning, you know? It took me, like, a few years, and then I was just like, man, this show is hilarious. But it's really subtle. It's another Mike Judge, the same guy that made Beavis and Butthead um, production, but it's really... Um, more subtle and I think that's what they told him to do and then it's hard to dial back his <laughs> comedy but it's actually better than Beavis and Butthead by Milestones and I didn't I don't know if I stood by that project for as many years as he did it and then I eventually succumbed to feeling that it's probably my favorite cartoon I haven't seen it in a long time though